Hello, my monsters. This is the Oz Monster back with Prey. Where we last left off, we had got a psionic scope, which is a little headset that allows us to see mimics and aliens of any kind. It's actually pretty interesting. Apparently, our character created it. And of course, we've been in contact with our brother from time to time. He's telling us not to self distract the whole place. I mean, yeah. But anyway. Can't think about that right now. I mean, we got we got enemies around. Ooh, make it. Thank you. And we also got... Well, we don't have psionic abilities yet. So it turns out that phantom has been circling around the room. Oh, yeah, by the way, this is the scope. It allows us to see mimics. They pop up as, like, little right, white arrows, unless you're, it's actually scanning the item. No wave, no wave. Introduce no wave transmitter to test chamber to suppress mimic's ability. Warning wave trans voids test results. Okay. It's actually I really like this game because it's like all the stuff you can do. Damien Lynn, time to place your bets on how this actually works. My money is number two, obviously. Pilgrimage, auto courtesy, dome to rev with my last drop. Does Lens ring any bells? Does Gus Lanzetta? What if I told you it worked with uh, that you and he worked with us for a week? One week, the week before the entire science staff had last quarter's neuromods removed. Yeah, because pretty much neuromods will wipe your whole brain if they're removed. But as long as you have a neuromod, you have the whole, you have the IQ and everything. But once it's gone, your brain pretty much goes back to what it was when it was first installed. That's a weaver, by the way. Isn't it fascinating? There's something almost angelic about those golden filaments, like frozen light. The Typhon weave it out of thin air. The question is why? We have a lot of theories, but no solid answers. Typhon lore. Yet. I wish you were with me, Morgan. Not the way you are now. Typhon lure emits psycholuminescent signal that entices Typhon to move toward the lure. I, used to be. I know we could tackle this together. Like old times. Oh, that's the lure in action. Neuromods. Alright, so I'm guessing the phantom's on the other side. No, but there is another mimic. Research complete. And that's a turret. That's a mimic right there. Right there on the ground. Let's see if we can shoot it. Ah! Shit! Crap, the mimics were circling around, I think. Hello? Hey, it's Langley. Are you a... Uh, is there anything weird going on over there? No, like what? I don't want you to panic. What is going on, Langley? Not sure yet. Security's running all over the place. So, everyone's still working there? I guess, I don't know. I've been in the lab all day, hang on. I'm looking now. I don't... What was that? Oh my god, I think we just lost two labs. What? I have to go. Yeah, the outbreak originated in this area. It literally started here because of the weaver. Oh, crap. Detected. 
Take him out. Nice. They actually worked like a charm. But I don't know where the other mimics went. I mean, there were literally more mimics. Oh yeah, I got the necropsy thing, because it turns out the tumors from the aliens can be used to make neuromods. And that's kind of important right now for me, is getting neuromods, because this game... N now in real life, that would be possible. Titan are capable of, and not capable of. It seems prudent to revisit the Project Cobalt material. Igor, neuromods can already adapt Typhon material to the human mind. There's no reason in principle the reverse wouldn't work. Say you manage to insert human neurons into a typhoon. How will you know it was successful? The new neural structures would need to mature over a series of actual experiences. Or simulated ones. What? Simulate the experiences. Calvino. He has... Right, okay, look, it's fascinating, but let's focus on what we know is working. I don't want anyone devoting resources to Mimic. This. Third. What? There wasn't anything up there, but that still freaked me out. I've been using more and more spare parts, so now I'm starting to run low. That's a Mimic. Bullets, on the other hand, I've been getting an excess surplus, which is important. That's a phantom. There's a phantom nearby. Should have, should have figured that out. Nope. <laughs> the only problem when I have with the glue gun is that I am not accurate with it. There it is. But that'll keep them at bay. I mean, look at that. They can't come through the fire. Trying very hard to get to me, though. I need another canister. One preferably. Actually, you know what? Come with me, little guy. I'm gonna plop you here. Deploy. Oh, so it is trying to shoot aliens. I Diagnostic check. IFF. I really Yeah, it turns out I was wrong. I was wrong on multiple levels. The 
lot of Typhon dead bodies here, though. It's actually kind of impressive. It still sounds like there's a phantom nearby. Because if you can hear talk, almost like a talking nature, that means there's a phantom nearby. This is Dr. Calvino. What's up? I'm feeling ill. I, not myself. I think I won't be in for my shift at all. Okay. Do you still want me to finish this array? I fabricated a shit ton of glass. Array? I don't recall. You asked me to set up a new array. You must have misunderstood. Uh, oh, crap. There we go. Honestly, I prefer if you left my experiments alone in my absence. Uh, well, look, I have a message you left me. Seriously, I would not have made all of this if you hadn't... No, no, of course. I, uh, I remember now. Uh, let's just, uh, for the time being, uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter? Uh, let's talk about it tomorrow. I was right that there was a phantom nearby. Whoa, that kind of freaked me out. Why? Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I need to use neuromods. Check. No, I don't think I should go with gunsmith. I think I should go with firearms. 120%. Maybe I should go with the kinetics. I'm hi I highly doubt the kinetics, though, because that means the turrets will shoot me. So I'm very... I'm very unsure. But that would be cool. Especially the shapeshift modification. That would be awesome. Create a phantom that will fight for you from a human corpse? Whoa! Create a shield for 20 seconds. Aperture clear. Operator deployment resuming. What the? What was that? I know, I'm not used to hitting the center button to tell you the truth, so it's just very clunky that I keep not doing that. Okay. Oh yeah! Oh crap! I lit it up, but I didn't kill it. <laughs> yeah, give me the friggin' alcohol right now. Wait a minute, medical bay. Scan, scan, scan. Helen Baker. At least what's ever. Or at least what's left of her. Because it's because it turns out the mimics use dead bodies and turn them into phantoms. That's pretty much what a phantom is. That's good, thank you. Ooh, this will be this will be important. Requesting new operator. See, these guys will go on an automatic route and start trying to heal anybody in the area. It's perfect. Transcar Pyramid 490 Medical Class Operator ready to deploy. Got it. Please stand clear Wait a minute. Of aperture. Wait a minute. Get back here. I Are you here for an appointment? Diagnosing. Bruising. Abrasion. Fatigue. Nothing blood threatening. There. All better. 
You can fill out a service questionnaire at the front desk. And it. I still love this game because there's all kinds of stuff you can do. Okay, I'm almost. I'm in the atrium Hello, area. Hello. Yeah. Oh, okay. This was the. Oh, I remember. I doubled back because I was going crazy trying to kill a stupid mimic. And then it ran off that way. In the code. Homo hey, sapien. You get me out of here. I'll let you have it. Volunteer test subject criminal My history approved Aaron. for viewing. Press request Aaron record. Ingram. Gender white. Comp 17 Siberia. Human trafficking. Kidnapping. Solicitation of a minor. Distribution of controlled substances. Fraudulent impersonation. Hey. What are you reading? A rap sheet, huh? Look, I'm telling you, on my mama's grave, that is a stack of lies meant to make pushing that button easier on you. Okay, fine. Listen, I want to be honest. Some of it probably is true. I've done some wrong in my days, but this ain't right, you know? Come on, y'all got to let me out of here. I'm not sure if I should let you out, bub. But then again, you got a high chance of dying out here. You got a high chance of living in there. If you try to murder my ass, I'm gonna murder you. Now that's what I'm talking about. Some human decency, friend. Now you're the one person that showed me any real kindness, and you can believe I won't forget it. Well, if you still want that code, it's 8714. He's probably going to die up here anyway. I mean, I have to set the place for self-destruct. Ooh, lots of good stuff in here. Maybe there's a spare pistol. I'm sure he wasn't a good man, but you freed him anyway. I'm curious if it was compassion or was there some other motive? I can only act in ways that advance my directive. I need the shotgun. And I, I need to drop something. The Typhon can only kill and destroy, but you're human. You have a choice. Finally got a high-class weapon. Listen, you running any other fellas wearing a green jumpsuit? Watch your ass. Well, they ain't all decent human beings like me. Got it. Well, you better be a decent human being, or else I'm gonna regret it, dude. Again, you mess with me, I kill your ass. I don't mean to be a nuisance, but when do you think we'll get to that breach? I'm headed out there as we speak. What do you think happened? Hard to say until I lay eyes on it. Seal hole Could breach. Could be some micrometeoroids punched a hole. Rare, but it happens. Okay, good. Hopefully it's just that. Is there something you're not telling me? No, of course not. It's just that storage room has classified exotic materials. Local lockdown we really in effect. can't have it be inaccessible. Uh, I understand. I seen one of the other volunteers come through here. A big guy. Bastard wouldn't let me out. Now I'm glad he didn't. Watched him bash some poor sucker's head in with a wrench. Kept going on and on about black eggs and whatnot. 
real disturbed. Now you look kind of familiar. Are you sure you ain't been here before? I've probably been here before. There's a mem there's a major memory thing going on. So I need to fix the breach if I want to get in there. And that's on lockdown, so I need to go back. Well, I found the only I found one of the few human beings that are left alive on this place. Let's keep going. That that one stray mimic ran this way. Live exam. I was afraid of this. The scientists here were in the middle of something when they died. Access to the gut is closed off during experiments. Security protocol. You'll have to finish what they started. Back Dang. in the 60s and 70s, the first research teams tried to communicate with the Typhon, but this proved impossible. Their cerebral structures are highly developed and intentional, but somehow unapproachable. They have no speech of their own, no language. They don't seem to even see us. Not like we see ourselves, I mean. I'm generalizing when I say us. Of course, I'm not a person. Not like you. Live exam procedure. Mio, uh, this is uh, this is Doctor Calvino. Ah, well, I suppose that I've turned in. Uh, oh, okay, cool. Me. I just want to. Well, I I will be uh, a little late. This thing just keeps following me around. Uh, the, the first thing in the morning, I want you to. Wait a minute. Array. You see the oh crap. is being an ass just take it from this b1222 oh it was a prisoner uh, we're not supposed to know the code but uh, well uh, i'm sending it to you anyway shit people are quick to project human features onto things they don't understand the typhon kill us without hesitation but it's not because they're evil it's because they can't do otherwise you know what we deserve? Yeah, they can't reproduce. They lack mirror neurons. For all their wonderful abilities, there's one thing we can do that they can't. Empathize with the suffering of another living creature. I can see that. I mean, I just let out a criminal. There's just some weird stuff going on. Do not enter morgue so the morgue's down there the gt the guts is over there i want to check out the morgue for a second shit i saw that too Engineering operator. Yeah, this headset's always trying to scan everything. And I mean everything. that in the room or out of the room? There we go. That was weird. Why was it invisible? Never mind, I'm not going to question that. Ah, shit! Well, okay. Operator approach. Well, I got my cool back. All right, let's continue. Let's check out the morgue. It said that the guy locked his keycard in the morgue. 
So trying to get in it the old fashioned way is not going to work. Ah, nice. Okay, these are two containers, I think. The language Russian? I'm not sure. I'm not familiar with foreign languages, to tell you the truth. The only foreign language I am familiar with is Spanish and French. That's about it. Other than that, I'm not familiar with most foreign languages. Then again, most people aren't. It's just natural, because there's so many foreign languages. Wait a minute! Damn it! The engineer was in this room! Hey! Yo! Get over here! Engineer! Yo! Hey, you! For a quarterly maintenance. Inspecting. Your suit integrity is nominal. Ah, dang it. Look, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm just trying to get in a room. Anti rad fabrication. I am an idiot. Some. Okay, come on! You stupid freaking... It's like, you were in the room, you had the door open, just get back over here! Yo! What the... What the... Hey! Operator approach. Oh! went upstairs. I didn't know the robots can do that. That's fascinating. What the hell? I didn't, I didn't even know they could do that. There's a lot that I keep learning now in this game. Come on. Oh, okay, cool. It's he it's heading the way of the lab. There you go. Or not. Okay, yeah, I'm just going on. No, I will not let this be the end of me. You're getting in there. Yeah, I'm just moving on. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely moving on because this guy's just wasting my time here. I was hoping I could get him to just go back into that room. Apparently, that's not the case. It's not the case at all. Shh, what? No, you can't. You cannot do that to me. No. You can't do that. No. No. Can't do that. Can't do any of that. You just can't spawn enemy people over here. Not at all. Now come on. Hmm. Yeah, that would have actually been more difficult if I. Eradicator auto turrets. Transtar's last ditch defense against an outbreak. Flimsy. But they're easy to fabricate. Best part is the built-in psychoscope tech. They can discriminate between alien and human targets. Shouldn't be a problem for you. Since you're not an alien. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have it. Yeah, because I don't have any components inside me. No alien components. No shape-shifting. No psionic blast. No nothing. So I could just walk past them like it's nothing. Just like, wee. Alright, next area. Oh, wow, holy crap, that can actually be the end of my video perfectly. It's almost actually, it's the 30. It's, wow. That's perfect. Well, I, I'll have to end the video, but I love this game because there's so much you can do. You can, It's kind of like a personality test almost because you can either choose to save yourself or destroy everybody or destroy what's left of the station in order to stop this from getting farther. 
I don't know what the, what's the best choice right now. Start. I'm still thinking about going with January. I mean, these things are just deadly as hell. So anyway, this is the Oz Monster signing off. Till the next video, I hope you enjoyed. See ya.